Hey guys, yours truly, Jedi Master Brevin Thompson, uh, here to talk about John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. This was directed by Chad Stahelski, who directed the first two movies, and of course stars Keanu Reeves as John Wick himself, and Halle Berry, Lawrence Fishburne, Ian McShane, and tons of talented people. So this picks up immediately after Chapter 2, where John Wick is declared excommunicado, and a lot of assassins are after him for a humongous bounty. The John Wick movies have been regarded as one of the best action movie franchises of all time, and this might be Keanu Reeves' best trilogy. I mean, sure, the Matrix trilogy had its ups and downs, with the first one being superior of all of them, of course. And, um, Reloaded, uh, was enjoyable. I mean, I think that's probably the best Matrix sequel. Revolutions was a bit of a mess, but it had some enjoyable moments, I'm not gonna lie about that. But, um, but when it comes to the John Wick movies, the first one, awesome. Chapter 2, also awesome. And three, so badass. <laughs> so, um, one of my favorite moments is, um, without spoiling anything, in, ca in case there's somebody watching this video who hasn't seen the movie yet, is when John kills this big fucker with a book. And <laughs> I thought the pencil kill in Chapter 2 was impressive. I swear to God, every time I see that pencil kill in Chapter 2, I, I'm I'm thinking of the uh, the same thing that Heath Ledger did in The Dark Knight. But I'd say that Keanu Reeves did it a whole lot better. I'm like, well, he nailed the pencil kill in every way possible. But the book kill in Chapter 3, though, is definitely an improvement. I really love that kill. That's probably my favorite kill in an action movie ever. And this movie also has, hands down, the best knife fight ever. <laughs> also, best motorcycle chase. And everything about this movie is fucking awesome. Uh, they actually, I mean, it's, without a doubt, this movie cranks the action up to 11 in this movie. And it's definitely the most action-packed out of all three movies. Um... Keanu Reeves is still amazing as John Wick, and I will never get tired of seeing him play this character. I could happily watch him uh, play John Wick a million times because he just he's just so awesome as this character. I mean, every kill, headshot, 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 well, almost every kill, and it's just, it's so fucking awesome, and he's, I mean, well... Uh, as for the story, well, I mean, that was sort of a problem for most people, I mean, for most critics in uh, Chapter 2, well, some anyway, but a lot of people, myself included, praise the action sequences in all three movies. The story in Chapter 1 was, of course, strong because of the revenge plot and everything, uh, the, his motivation of coming out of retirement was not as strong as his motivation in the first movie. But uh, in Chapter 3, it's him basically fighting for survival. And uh, Halle Berry's character, Sophia, I thought was pretty interesting. And I like that Halle Berry got to redeem herself, at least as an action star. Because, I mean, she had her ups and downs. Because, I mean, we all love her as Storm in the X-Men movies. And uh, as Jinx and Die Another Day, she was basically the girl for James Bond, and Catwoman, <laughs> uh, we know how that went, that was a shit-filled litter box, and I really hate that movie, but, uh, she is badass in this movie, and I loved her training video, and she really put a, a lot of hard work into this role, and I have to give major applause for, for that, it's, I mean, uh, Halle Berry was such a badass, and, yeah, um, Lawrence Fishburne, I think, uh, approved a little bit in Chapter 3, because, I mean, um, uh, one of my friends said that, uh, his character was a bit weird in Chapter 2, but I like, I'll say that I liked him a lot more in Chapter 3 than I did in Chapter 2, um, 
As for Winston, uh, he does get a little bit more screen time th than he did in Chapter 2. Uh, and he does have somewhat of a major role in Chapter 3, uh, uh, because, uh, well, I don't want to get into the spoilers. Um, it's because uh, John goes to um, Casablanca uh, Blanca to, for, I mean, to go to see Sophia, and... They had to go see, uh, see some other guy, t so John would also have to go to another guy uh, somewhere in the desert, and he's tasked to do something, but he doesn't really go through with it, and I can see that being somewhat of a problem for some people. Um, it, it's almost like you were, I mean, if you wanted to escape this, I mean, you would have to, like, do this in order to get out of it, but, I mean, he doesn't want to go back to his life as a hitman because, I mean... He wants to leave that life behind because, I mean, he was so happy, I mean, with his wife and everything, but everything changed for him at, at, when his wife died, and, uh, well, his life was, I mean, I mean, his story is, a, a, is really tragic, and you kind of feel sorry for the guy, but, um... But his motivations in Chapter 3, it's basically uh, fighting for survival, and... The action sequences, like I said, are fucking awesome. He even fights ninjas, and like I said, that motorcycle chase was so awesome. Um, well, do I have any flaws with the movie? Well, I could say, like, one major issue was this one female character, uh, the adjudicator. I just, um, uh, she, uh, she barely even did anything, but she just, like, she, I mean, she's supposed to look menacing, which she does an okay job, uh, doing, uh, but overall, I think Chapter 3 was superior in every way. It's definitely the most action-packed out of all three John Wick movies, and I'm gonna give John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum an A. Definitely check this one out, guys. It's definitely worth your time, and... I definitely uh, can't wait for Chapter 4 because, of course, they set up uh, Chapter 4 at the end of the movie. Um, so what are your thoughts on John Wick Chapter 3? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you so much, as always, for supporting my channel and watching my videos. You guys are the best. And if you want news on the latest movies, you know where to find me.